20. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Kizzy was nursed through pneumonia by Admiral Twiss, who wanted to look after her as long as she needed him. But when little girl's clothes had to be bought, the idea didn't seem so good. He sought Olivia Brooks' advice. She had been appointed a local magistrate and willingly agreed to help but she wondered what Kizzy's future would really be. actually get them myself. Uh, Miss Brooke chosen for you. Very nice lady. Don't like nice ladies. We should both be very grateful to her. Here, you'll need one of these. It's not big enough. <laughs> not round your neck. It's to blow your nose on. To blow my nose on this? What's wrong with my skirt? Kizzy, you do not look... Oh, beg pardon, sir. Another visitor. Oh, good Lord, not another. No, no, sir, not a woman this time. It's a boy. Hey? He says he's a friend of Kizzy and he'd like to see her. Claire! Hello. Is it all right me coming to see you? Mum said it would be, seeing as I'm a boy. Have you really come to see me? Please, Sir Admiral, it's Claire Oliver. Oh. And he... Can I? Uh, show him round, yes, if you want to. Uh, Peters, perhaps you could lay on some tea later. Oh, yes, sir. Four o'clock. In the kitchen. I'll be my workshop. Uh, bring him along, if you like. Oh, thank you. Why aren't you at school? Easter holidays. This is a smashing house, isn't it? I suppose so. Don't know much about houses. Bit big and lonely, though. I've got a room all of my own. Would you like to see it? It's at the top of the house. Is this your room? Wow, a bit different from the old wagon. Yes, it is. But this is a girl's room. They say there's never been girls here. I think there was a little girl here once. Oh, that's super. Sir Admiral made it. For me. He'll let you see his workshop. Then we can go to the stables. And that will show the horses. Cool, just wait till I tell Mum I've been round Amberest. And the other kids. I can see Prue Cuthbert now going green with envy. <laughs> They let your brother in? If Clem went there, why not me? Because you're a girl, and the Admiral doesn't like girls. He even had tea there. Chocolate cakes, sausages and all. Oh, come on, let's go back. No, I'm not afraid. Uh, Peters. Oh, yes, sir. You'd better read this. They're taking the case to the juvenile court. Oh, dear. Do you think they'll take her away, sir? Oh, it depends on the court. Whatever they decide, there's nothing we can do about it. Does she know, sir? No, not yet. Oh, confound it. Who's that now? Kizzy. Does she want to see you? Can you tell her I've come to see her? We don't have to see everyone that calls, you know. You'd better wait there while I ask. 
I said, wait there. Yo! Go away. That's nice, I must say, when I've come all this way to see you. Why? You'll be coming back to school after the holidays. No, I won't. So I thought we could be friends. They keep it all clean, don't they? You'd never expect... You don't want to see me. You want to tell everyone you've been here. I like your clothes. Very pretty. They're not yours this time, they're mine. I'll never take anything from you again. Ever, ever, ever. That's just as well, because I shan't ever give you anything again. Ever, ever, ever. Go away! You needn't be so high and mighty, Kitty Lovell. You won't be at Amberhurst much longer. What? What do you mean? They're going to take you away. They're going to put you in a home. They won't! They won't! Who's going to stop them? The Admiral, he will. Admiral Twist is round the twist. Admiral Twist is... Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Once. Come along, get up. You can't behave like this at Amberhurst. Get up. How dare you? Little savage. That's what she is. Look at that scratch. See what I did to her. Well, we must remember it's not her fault, Prudence. It's the way she was brought up. It just proves those men are not capable of looking after her. Never mind. She'll soon be under proper control. They've set a date for the hearing. I don't care how horrid she is. That's no way to behave. Oh, do it again. None of your lip, saucepot. While you're at Amberhurst, you'll behave as you should. You'll not disgrace us, no matter what happens. Now, where are you going? Out. If you're going out, you must put your coat on. I haven't got a coat. Oh, yes, you have. I'm not wearing that one. At Amberhurst, we obey orders. No. They won't send me away, Joe. The Admiral won't let them. One day, we'll go away together. Just you and me. Go over those hills and far away, wherever we want to. Just you and me. Yes, I thought there was nothing we could do. Uh, thanks for advising me anyway. Hmm? Uh, yes, goodbye. Uh, Kizzy, I, uh, I have to talk to you. Sir Admiral, will you make me a wagon? A wagon? A model? One big enough for me to live in. They won't let you, Kizzy. At least not until you're 18. After that, no one can stop you. Oh, till I'm 18. Can I live here with you? Can't I? Fact is, Kizzy, they won't let you stay here either. They say it's not a fit place for you because there isn't a woman here. But there is. I'm here. I used to look after Gran. Oh, yes, I know. I'll make willow baskets and sell them if you like to pay for my food. Oh, no, no. Anyhow, there was a little girl here once. Hmm? She lived here. Oh, yes, uh, that little girl. Her? Yes, my grandmother. Your gran? But she's only little. Oh, <laughs> little girls grow up. What was her name? Kezia. Uh, do you know, Kizzy, you might be named after her. The gypsies always used to come here, that's why I never stopped them. When was her birthday? Her birthday? I wonder. Yes, I can look it up. Here, let me show you. Now, all my family is in here. Yes, here we are. Casey Cunningham, born December 9th, 1858. December the 9th. 
Hmm. Could I have that for my birthday? Oh, I'm sure you could. I think she'd be pleased. Suppose... Suppose you told everyone I'd gone away. Hmm? Say Mrs. Dole took me. Then I could stay here, in your grand's room, till I'm 18, and no one would ever know. Set Peter's Nat, and they wouldn't tell. Kizzy, there's going to be a meeting. Some ladies and gentlemen who are going to decide what's to be done with you. Now, you must be brave about it. You are brave. And they only want to do what's right. They're going to put me in a home, like she said. You can't let them... You can't! Oh, Kizzy, I'll have to do what they say. And so will you. Why has your department decided to bring this case before the juvenile court? Uh, well, sir, we, uh, we had information laid. Uh, we felt that something had to be done, but uh, frankly, sir, we don't know what. I don't quite understand. How is it this gentleman, Admiral Sir Archibald Cunningham, Cunningham Twist, was um, looking after her in the first place? Oh, the child was taken ill, sir. The Admiral offered to take care of her. Her own people thought she'd be better off with him, so they let her stay. You have something to say, Miss Brooke? Only that I think her own people will come back for her. Ah, uh, yes, but there's no telling when. In the meantime, we don't think it proper for her to stay at Amberhurst indefinitely. Not with three old men. Admiral Twiss is 60, I believe. His husband Peters is in his 50s. The stableman is about 45. I don't call that very old. Much too old to look after a child. Mrs. People Cuthbert, think that... I understand you're here as a spectator, not as a witness. I'm a member of the school board, and I have been concerned for the welfare of that child all along. Oh, very well, but please do not speak out of order. Now, according to your report, Dr. Harwell, the Admiral and his men have looked after the child extremely well. However, even if it were desirable, it wouldn't be fair to the Admiral to ask him to keep her indefinitely. She should go to her home. Have you tried all your register of foster parents, Mr. Blunt? Oh, yes, ma'am. It's not easy to place a... Traveller child. People seem afraid of her. Well, do you wonder? She's a little wildcat. She's caused all sorts of trouble at school. And when my crew went to see her, she scratched her face. She's very dirty. Not anymore. And my prudence says she has no table manners at all. Mr. Blunt, Mrs. Cuthbert, will you please remember this is a court? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Yes, Miss Brooke. You can't expect table manners if you've got no table. Some gypsy children eat with their fingers and wipe them on their hair. Oh. No, they believe it makes their hair soft and silky. And you know, in some ways, they think us dirty. Us? A gypsy might refuse to have a cup of tea with you because he can't be sure how you wash your china. You might use the same bowl to wash out clothes. A gypsy would use separate ones. Oh. We must try to remember we're dealing with different standards. Different doesn't necessarily mean bad. A very wise reminder. Mr. Blunt, you better bring in the child. Hello, Kizzy. We haven't met before, have we? Now, I'd like you to understand that all of us here have come to try to help you. Is there anyone you would like to live with, uh, other than Admiral Twiss? Well, your own people, for instance. We could try and trace them. Well, who then? No good telling you. You won't let me. Well, how do you know? Let's try. Now, who would you like to live with? With me. <laughs> Little girls can't live all by themselves, Kizzy. Knew that's what you'd say. Let go of me. Let go. <laughs> Behave, Kizzy. Remember what I said? Don't disgrace us. Come with me. Oh, all right, Mr. Blunt. Now, Kizzy, no one's holding you. Will you look at me? Well, look at the 
gentleman when he tells you. Mrs. Cuthbert, will you please be silent? Won't you talk to us, Kizzy? You see, I'm afraid we can't let you live all by yourself. And for several reasons, we can't let you stay on at Amberhurst House. So we must find another home for you, mustn't we? I think she's going to cry. Kizzy, wouldn't you like to go where there's lots of other children to play with, like you do at school? <coughs> there. What did I tell you? Uh, Mr. Blunt, he'd better take her away. Well, I like her spirit, but... Uh, Such a shame. Mm. Well, now, what are we to do with her? For health and environmental reasons. We could make a care order, Mr. Blunt, which means that your authority will have to find somewhere for her to live. Unless there are any other suggestions, Dr. Howell. Well, Mr. Blunt, there's always St. Agatha's. They never refuse. Oh, an excellent home, but she doesn't seem to like the idea of other children. <laughs> the nuns do have rules. I think she'd have a hard time, though. So would the nuns. Perhaps you could find a childless couple. Oh, we've tried, sir. I'm afraid there's no one who will have her. I will. Makes the case most difficult. Olivia, what did you say? Mrs. Cuthbert, I've asked you not to interrupt. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Oh, yes, Miss Brooks. Now that Mr. and Mrs. Blunt have moved into their house, I've got an empty room. I'd be happy to have Kizzy. After that exhibition? Yes, especially after that. Of course, I know it'll be difficult at first. For a time, she's bound to be unhappy, but even hostile. Hostile, indeed. Miss Brooke, are you really willing to take this uh, hostile child? Yes, I'd like to try. If Mr. Blunt agrees, of course. Well, I think it's an excellent idea. Uh, may I say something? Uh, forgive me for being personal, Olivia, but it is my duty to ask. Should a single woman take a child into her home? Of course, I know that fostering should be done by a family, but uh, since Kizzy's never known a mother or a father, perhaps it's different in her case. After all, she's not a baby anymore. Quite so. Well, in the unusual circumstances of this case, I think any solution will be acceptable, um, especially one so promising. <laughs> Is everyone in agreement? Oh, yes, yes, of course, yes, I, I'm very pleased. And as I live so close to Olivia, well, I can help her. I'll only do it on condition I'm not helped. Yes, well, uh, the case is settled. Uh, Kizzy, uh, this is Miss uh, Brooke. Uh, the, the lady who's going to look after you. Uh, she's come to, uh, well, uh, to meet you properly. Hello, Kizzy. Did your horses win those? Hmm? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> I don't suppose you're interested. I'd love to see them. Oh, well. Uh, these are rainbirds. Uh, you want Mrs. Richmond? It's a fine cup, isn't it? Mm. What's this? Miss Brooke is here. Another woman. You let one in and they all start coming. There'll be no end to it. You mark my words. It wasn't running very well that year, but uh, this was a wonderful meeting. I remember China Court won the Metropolitan States. And not China Court, it was Merzador. Eh? I know, because my father trained him. Your father? Yes, Gerald Brooke. Uh, your... but how splendid. Uh, did you hear that, Kizzy? Miss Brooke's father was a famous racehorse trainer. So she likes horses too. Uh, Miss Brooke, I must say I'm very glad that uh, Kizzy is going to uh, put uh, such a good stable. Thank you. I can see you're fond of her. Hmm? Oh, I can assure you she's not always quite oh, so... I uh... know. It's bound to be difficult at first. Hmm. But I'll do my best, I promise. Yes. What would you do if you were me? I don't care how nice she is. I don't like her. And I won't like her, so there. Well, now, Kizzy, 
Tomorrow morning, Peters will take you to school. Then Peters and Natalie will pack up your things and take them to Miss Brooke. Uh, she'll fetch you from school. Is that clear? Oh, come now, Kizzy. We've got to go through with it. But remember, you'll always leave my little girl and Peters and Nats. Look, I I'll make a bargain with you. I promised to look after Joe, and Miss Brooke says that you can come here to see us every Saturday and Sundays too, if you like. Can I? If you promise to do everything that Miss Brooke tells you. What if I don't? Well, then they'll say we taught you bad ways. They mightn't let you come to see us anymore. I promise. Uh, gypsy promise, mind, because gypsies always keep their word. Gypsy promise. for Kizzy, Miss Brooke? Yes. I think she went out the back way. Kizzy, it's time for tea. Do you want to walk or ride? Just as you like. What? His name's Chuff. Won't eat your food. Won't drink your drink. Where did you get those? School. Won't talk to you either. That won't be very interesting for either of us. Room. Peters and Nat brought the furniture from Amberhurst this morning. We thought you'd be happier with things you know. You can arrange it any way you like. When you're undressed, I'll show you the bathroom. Peter says you hate having baths, so I thought you might like to try this instead. It's much more fun. Water, yes, it is. You will try not to water the walls, won't you? Well? It won't do anything you tell me not to. Oh. I promise to wrap me anything you tell me. I see. Well, I'll leave you to get on with it then. The start the wall. You didn't tear the floor. you've had pneumonia, Kizzy, I can't ask you to help me mop it up. Your feet are soaking as it is. Here, you better dry yourself and get into bed. I'll bring you a hot water bottle. Aren't you going to land me? There we are. Make sure 
When you're sleepy, you can turn out the light. The switch is here. Would you like a book? Good night, then. <laughs>